thousands of migrants, mainly from the Middle East, have been trying to get into the EU via Belarus for months. In an exclusive interview, Alexander Lukashenko told me, We're Slavs. We have hearts. Our troops know the migrants are going to Germany. Maybe someone helped them. I won't even look into this, he added. The EU, NATO and the US have accused the Belarus leader of luring migrants to the border with the false promise of easy entry to the EU. Something he has denied. I told them I'm not going to detain migrants on the border, hold them at the border, and if they keep coming from now on I still won't stop them, because they're not coming to my country, they're going to yours he told me. But I didn't invite them here. And to be honest, I don't want them to go through Belarus. Mr. Lukashenko has been in power since 1994, but his re-election as president last year was widely discredited by the West and not recognized by the EU. In our interview at the presidential palace, I asked the Belarus leader about peaceful protesters being beaten and then tried to hand him a video showing people emerging from a notorious detention center in Minsk with injuries they had sustained through torture. Okay, okay, I admit it, I admit it he said. People were beaten in the Christina detention center. But there were police beaten up too and you didn't show this. I then asked him about how he had gone about destroying civil society, including the closure of 270 non-government organizations since July. We'll massacre all the scum that you have been financing. Oh, you upset we've destroyed all your structures. Your NGOs, whatever they are, that you've been paying for he responded. The EU claims Mr. Lukashenko has been orchestrating the border crisis with Poland, Lithuania and Latvia in recent months in retaliation for sanctions imposed on Belarus for its brutal crackdown on opponents who took part in mass protests after the August 2020 election. It has accused him of taking an inhuman, gangster-style approach. At least 2,000 migrants were stranded in camps next to Belarus' border with Poland until they were eventually moved this week to a logistics warehouse nearby. An estimated 5,000 migrants remain in Belarus, although hundreds flew back to Kurdish northern Iraq on a repatriation flight on Thursday. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.